Hey guys, in this video I'm going to do the full review of the Carbon ROM for the Google Nexus 5 with the update. And the last time that I did the review for this ROM on the Nexus 5 was uh, on like 4.4.2 KitKat. Uh, but now we have 5.1.1 and things have changed. So, you can see that the buttons here reminds us about the KitKat. And, uh, you know, I've been using the lollipop uh, buttons um, for a lot of time now. I do like this, these um, these arrows. It looks really nice. So, I'm going to change the wallpaper. Yeah, this is the wallpaper that is the default one. So now it looks a lot like the, uh, the KitKat. But you can see the white background and the notification area. And this is, of course, really nice. It comes with ton of features. That's why I like it a lot. So you can see Android 5.1.1 version, and then also um, it has this. Um, you can see the Carbon ROM version. If you tap it on a little, little bit, you can see Cyanogen mod animation. So let's just get into this. Start from the lock screen. Uh, this is how the lock screen looks like. You can see I've tweaked the colors. Uh, it is red. And you can also have the owner information. This is my channel link. So um, you can see that I can just unlock the device or I can go into the camera or into the dialer. So of course uh, the normal options, normal unlock unlocking options there. And uh, and this is how the um, the, the, the screen, uh, when you unlock this out, what you see, you can see that you scroll here and there. You can also hold down the screen and swipe up to have the uh, scroll effect. Um, also, um, you can also turn off the scroll wallpaper. Um, some normal stuff there. You can also make the icons larger uh, like this. And you can see now the icons are larger. Um, it looks really nice, you know, all the, all the icons are now larger and you can see that so really nice then also you can go into widgets or go into settings or you can change the wallpaper so that is about the normal settings and this is how uh, the uh, the notification area looks like or notification center you can see the 5.1 version uh, feature here that we can see the little arrow you can just click it and connect to different Wi-Fi connection without going into main settings and same for the Bluetooth and of course with, you can turn on the flash and uh, and uh, and let's just go here into the setting, which is basically the main part of this ROM. Now I'm going to show you that this is the first are the, the the wireless and network option, just the normal options. Then we have the carbon fibers, and you can see we have ton of options here. Status bar, um, you can have you can enable it. It will going to show. It will basically going to hide the activity on the using you know the activity that's happening on the on the network you can see the exclamation mark you can just disable it um, then also we have the clock and date you can change their colors uh, really nice then also battery status you can have the indicator um, landscape and then also circle or just text which looks really nice you can't really see the text because because the color is black so I'm gonna change the color to white Okay, I'm going to change the color to white, okay, and I don't know why it didn't turn white, and now I'm going to change the indicator, oh yeah, now it's white, you can see 26%, um, then also you can have the color changing for the, for the, for the network signals also, you can just change it. Then also network traffic, carrier label, um, you can also um, change, you can just turn it off or turn it on. You can see that uh, it's going to disable the carrier name from on the top left side. Um, then also notification system icons, really nice options there, you know, just for the status bar, just the things there on the top. Then also we have some buttons option, you can have some custom buttons, like if you hold down this button, this is what this will going to do. You can have a lot of custom buttons, and you can also um, turn on different things uh, in the power menu, like 
like the screen record, the screenshot, the one-click reboot, which instantly trigger the reboot action. I'm just going to show you here. Now we have all the stuff. Um, you can also take the screenshot. And you can see without holding those buttons, really easy to do. Um, the navigation bar, you can uh, you can edit the navigation bar. You can also um, enable the navigation rings. You can change their tint. Um, you can see that if I change it to purple, um, it looks really nice. Uh, you know, most of the time it, it just acts when you um, reboot the device. So I'm probably going to see that at that time. Then we have the Pi controls. If you are a fan of Pi controls, you can have it. Really nice, but I don't use the Pi controls. Um, then also we have the interface, test animation, gestures. Um, then also we have here the notification drawer. Um, you can have the quick pull on, pull down like if you do it with the right. You can see that we have the quick settings, and then you can't really see that from if you do it from the left side. So. Uh, you can change that options there and then also detailed Wi-Fi view vibrate when touching the files you can turn it on if you like your phone to vibrate um, then also custom color options that is also really nice status bar header you can change the color but only if you know that what you are messing up with you know you can't have some awkward colors where you can't even see the, the, the settings here so make sure that you choose the cool combination like I have the red and black so um, I mean this is the most feature rich ROM that I've ever seen you know based on 5.1.1 version uh, I mean that is really nice with the carbon ROM so recent panel settings you can also have the clear all recent buttons like you can see there here if I press it it will close everything at once um, then also we have the advanced option wake lock blocker um, you can see that lock system wake locks like sometimes we do get some wake up from system you know that uh, then notification type thing when your phone just wake up you can block that so let's move down to the lock screen you can see that that on the lock screen we can have some locks in shortcuts you can also display the music visualizer uh, which I'm gonna turn off because it's just gonna eat the battery some normal Android options there uh, owner info you can see the channel link or you can have it anything on the on the, on, the, on the screen on the owner screen information there and notification manager normal Android option I think those spe special there um, sounds uh, again normal Android options you can also change the vibration intensity really nice um, then also we have the display and lights um, then also again some normal Android option just enable this um, this um, this adaptive brightness feature which will help you when you go outside in the sun and then double tap to sleep and of course my favorite feature that is the battery light you can change the battery light from um, you know different colors here we're going to change that um, really nice really really nice uh, font size you can have any font size you want you can see the sample there which gives you the preview and uh, and I haven't seen any any kind of crashing or anything like that and all the basic stuff like camera um, Wi-Fi Bluetooth and all that stuff works really fine you know same also works so no problems there um, I haven't seen any app crashing though you know like Instagram and you know I use a lot of apps I do have a lot of apps installed no problems whatsoever um, then also we have the theme which is again 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 my really nice feature that I like on custom ROMs you can see I have the Galaxy S6 theme here I will make a video for that and then also Lone CM12 theme which is again really nice theme you know um, it's just change all the whole layout of your phone really nice uh, some battery options you can see that battery saver you can turn it on anytime um, like if you have like this 26 person battery you can just turn it on right now um, to just save the battery uh, that is that works really fine then we have the security nothing special there of course if you want to install some unknown application make sure you enable the unknown source let's just scroll down to the privacy where you can blacklist some 
caller or some uh, spooky or creepy people that you know just want to spam you can just block their number um then we have the um let's go again into the setting then we also have this performance option which is again really nice like if you can set your performance if you want to play a lot of games or you just want to have performance out of your phone then you can set uh, a CPU governor to performance or you can also have it on demand which I will recommend you that is really nice uh, for the very life so yeah that's about all the whole settings there it is really nice really smooth I've tested out some games also but it's really fine if you want me if you want me to do some, do some detailed stuff like maybe play a game on it some high-end game then I can I can do that for you but um, but yeah currently if you only want that video then do let me know it is working really fine it's really interesting bro it's interesting interest interest let's say amazing wrong yeah so download it the link